Overcrowding on public transport has become a growing problem for many Singaporeans. During a post-National Day rally dialogue, Senior Minister Goh Chok Tong said that as a young civil servant, he used to wait an hour before he could catch a bus home. Nowadays, people who can't get on a crowded MRT train can wait six to eight minutes to hop onto the next train, but they still find it a long time to wait. Speaking to some 200 grassroots leaders from Marine Parade GRC, SM Go said that most of Singapore's problems can be dealt with if people adopt a rational approach to solving them. The、uh, trains are crowded, but trains are crowded because this is a mass rapid transit system. It's mass, so mass means people. If you do not want、uh, to be, you know, amongst the crowd, then you take a taxi. Mr. Goh said such problems naturally accompany Singapore's success. Overcrowding and congestion come with urbanisation, but for every solution there are consequences. But that doesn't mean we can't solve the problems of、uh, overcrowdedness now. So as PM had explained, there will be new lines. You know, there will be a change in signalling system. You have to spend about one billion dollars just to change the system. One billion dollars. What is unsaid is. Who is going to pay for this? Nobody dares say that you are, you are going to pay for this. If they tell you that fare is going to go up to pay for the one billion dollars, there will be huge howl of protest. But you know, although the cost might not be passed on to the people directly, so now or later, when you have to replace、uh, other parts of the system, the cost must be defrayed. The other hot topic of the evening was the issue of new immigrants. When asked if employment pass holders should be made to take up citizenship here, SMGO said enforcing this rule will discourage foreign talents from working in Singapore. Let's say you want all employment pass holders <coughs> to become Singapore citizens before they can come. Not all will want to come. Now, why should、uh, an American, Australian just take on your citizenship? They don't mind coming here to work, but、uh, if that is your condition, they won't come. So you miss out on somebody. The other aspect is you also want to use employment pass、uh, holders as a buffer. You don't want all of them to come. So, assuming all want to be Singapore citizens, <clears throat> you don't want them to be, because in bad times when the economy shrinks, I mean they can't go away. They become your responsibility as a Singapore government. And looking after 3.2 million people is already very difficult. So please don't let us look after <laughs> more citizens. You know they come here and then they can't get jobs. Very troublesome. So these two aspects are, are, are related. So you use EP to get them to come here and work for a while. When the job is gone, they are gone. So there's no additional problems here. The large inflow of new immigrants have also put pressures on the housing market in Singapore. With rising property prices, should the government have stepped in earlier to solve the problem? You got to watch. Is there a problem of a bubble? Affordability is a different question. There's market supply and demand. But if a speculative、uh, bubble is building up, and、uh, banks begin to lend more and more money to people to buy homes, when the bubble bursts on its own, as it must burst, because how big can a balloon be? So when they burst, the consequence is not just on the house buyers. The consequence is also on the banks, which lend money to、uh, these people. And if the banks begin to wobble, because Mortgages cannot be repaid. That has a systemic、uh, problem for the whole economy, because banks are critical to our economy. So you got to watch this. Second reason is: Are we sure that this is not the result of fundamental、uh, increases in demand for homes, and there's an underlying support for the high price? So we move in too early. You puncture the、uh, bubble. Before it became a bubble, you just puncture it, and property prices drop. Who suffer most? It's those who have owned property. The pressing issues brought up during the dialogue include the recent NS Recognition Award, which gives an incentive of nine thousand dollars for current NS men. Replying to a former national serviceman who felt that their contributions should also be recognised, Mr. Goh said that the government will take note of the suggestion that something could be done for the older generation of NS men. There were other benefits. So you're born earlier, maybe you bought your HDB flat cheaper. You know, I mean, you know, so you cannot argue. So. Your point is whether it can be recognised in some way, token. Well, I think we take note. We take note so that in the future they can remember the older ones, just token. Maybe past 55, whatever it is, help them with the medical, 
uh, stop up. I think that's possible. So I think it's a suggestion which uh, uh, we will take note. So. Other issues discussed included the suggestion to add the subject of current affairs to national education in schools, promoting bilingualism in higher education, and encouraging younger Singaporeans to marry and have children. For the full dialogue session, watch the following clips.